Hey guys, JesterMX6 here, and I'm back for another Minecraft video, but this is not the beginning of Season 4. As you can probably tell by the video title, this is going to be a new series, um, kind of a one-off. I'm not going to add these to my regular seasons, and we're going to be doing a series of hardcore worlds. So, let's start out here. For those who don't know, hardcore means that when I die... I lose the world and it goes away. So we'll set the game mode to hardcore. We'll put in a seed of hardcore one. This way it matches my world title. And done. Create new world. We'll see where this takes us here. A lot of people have been clamoring for more Minecraft videos and I want to keep my audience happy. So here we are. Not uh, not too bad so far, but I don't see a single tree. Aw, oh, this could be bad. Well, let's set off. First pig I see, I'm going to attack like it's nobody's business. Wow, there's nothing here. Let me get a couple sheep. Because I want some cloth. There's a tree. I saw a tree off in the distance. I will kill you with a flower! with a flower! I only need a three, I think. Maybe six wool. Oh, come on. This shouldn't be this difficult. Two wool. Ah! Come here! Ooh, pumpkins. Gosh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, I got myself uh, a wool or three. Let's head across the water. I know running is probably not the greatest idea, but I really need to get me some trees since I'm in hardcore mode here. I need something to... Uh... <gasps> clay! I want my clay. Oh, well, I can't be distracted by the clay right now. Wh why do I care? Clay is not that big a deal. Let's dump the clay. Ugh, come on. Faster. Faster. Let's go. So yeah, I decided to do a hardcore series of games. Whoa. Hello. I see coal. Mostly because I'm not ready to start season four yet. Uh, TV seasons don't just take a couple weeks off. They take a long time. So... This will be my off-season thing, and uh, it should be pretty fun. I will be a lot less inclined to jump into exploring mode when I'm trying to stay alive in hardcore mode. So let's get a workbench here so that we can at least utilize the things that I have. Uh, is this a bed? Yes! Okay. So now at least when it gets dark, I can, uh... sleep through the night. Wood there. And... let's do that. Stop pushing me. Alright, I know this isn't going to speed things up too much, but it's better than my fists, so... we'll get as much of this as we can and then go dig us a little shelter before the dark the darkness comes oh crap i'm recording at 60 frames per second instead of 30 i did not mean to do that and i'm burning through hard drive space quicker than you can say i have a solid state and you don't ha uh yeah fraps builds like 4 gig files i think and I'm not even that far into this, and I've already got two 4 gig files made. Luckily, I just emptied out my hard drive, so I should be good. But I do not want to run out of space, so I will make sure to keep things shorter. Instead of doing one long recording session, I'll probably just stop this where I normally would stop an episode. Okay. We've got enough wood for the time being. Let me go back and get my 
workbench here. And let's see what we can find. I do need to make a sword at some point, but I see a lot of stone over there, and that's kind of my goal, so let's go get that. Looks like a good area to make camp as well. I see chickens. Chickens are good. Chickens will give me some food. Oh yes, this is this is perfect. What's over here? I was hoping for a jungle biome, but this is good too. I can actually make camp right here. Yes. Yes, this will do nicely. Very nice. I'm getting a lot of random like shadow errors. I don't know why. Get some stone. I want to kind of keep things even. I know it's silly, but that's just how I roll. <laughs> I hope you guys liked my King's Quest series. I had a blast doing that, and it's actually the first game I got to finish on my channel because, well, Minecraft is kind of endless. I think everybody knows that. So. King's Quest was the first one that I actually came to a complete ending, and I'm kind of proud of that. It may have only been three episodes long, but hey, it's an accomplishment nonetheless. I think we'll keep digging here until my pick runs out. That shouldn't quite take us into nighttime, I don't think. And it should give me enough stone to at least get things started for a hole in the wall. Yeah, I'm not sure how this whole hardcore mode thing is going to go. It could prove to be a disaster, and or it could prove to be quite beneficial if I'm a little more careful with how I play my cards. Uh, if you're new to the series, or new to my channel, rather, you know that I'm not the greatest at the Minecraft combat. Mostly because the combat system, I'll say it, kind of blows. But... I cannot fault the game completely. I am not a strong first-person gamer, and I believe it shows when I play this game. My pick is almost out, but I don't want to get caught up here. It still appears to be fairly daylight out, so I shouldn't be too hard-pressed for time. Sooner. Oh, there we go. Gosh, the sound of the pick breaking still kind of frightens me, and I don't really know why. Oh, I hear zombies already. That's trouble. I apologize for the sniffles. I don't know where it came from, but all of a sudden my allergies just start bothering me. Go figure, right? When I want to record, my allergies kick in. Alright, let's, uh... Let's make this simple. I was really afraid that wasn't going to line up for a second. Is that... That's the zombie. That's the zombie I heard. What is it doing out in the sun? Yes, burn up. That's what you're supposed to do. Cheating zombie. Ah, oh, no. I don't have a pickaxe. Should probably make one of these before I use up all my stone. And... Make one of these so that I can go fight off the bad dudes. The bad dudes that are trying to get me. Alright. We have ourselves a makeshift wall. This is so unsafe because I have no way to light up my world here. I'm afraid that that zombie is gonna like pop out at me. I don't see him though. Let's get some chicken. I don't want my life to run out. I'll eat it raw if I have to. Oh god, that didn't take much. One shot, that's it. I really want to know where that zombie came from. It kind of worries me. There were more chickens. Where are they? Oh, there we go. More chicken for me. 
I don't see an easily accessible area to get coal, but there is a spot right there. And I think if I'm careful, I can climb up to it. Oh no, right over there. Perfect. <laughs> it's not too far out of reach. Oh, hello. Cavern. Cavernous area. Yes, let's get the coal here. Before it's too late. The music is making me feel a little more sense of urgency. I feel like I'm running out of time. I hope I'm not talking too quiet. I'm kind of in a relaxing mood, and this whole hardcore mode thing, mode thing is almost ruining it, but I'm not. Oh yeah, the sun is definitely starting to set. I heard another zombie too, I think. Run! Run! We must make haste! Is this where my home is? Yes, I see it. Uh, sticks and coal. For torches. For the torches! Yes. Uh, there we go. Alright, let's make me some area here. I think hardcore mode sets everything to, like, hard, so monsters everywhere. Ah, screaming. Me screaming because of all the monsters. And, uh, yeah, let's hurry up and block myself in. That was a dumb move. There we go. And continuing the wall. Oh no. Oh no. And I am out of stone. Uh, this is bad. Let's use wood. It just has to last through the night. Just through the night. That's all. Okay. More light. Much, much more light. Light, light, everywhere, light. Ah! Okay, I think we're safe. If I put my bed down... Does going to sleep uh, fill up your hunger? No, I can't imagine it would. That means I need to cut away some of this stone so I can make a oven. Let's do that. Five... I need one more. Six. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I need nine. Oh, wait. No, eight. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Eight. That's seven. Crap. There we go. There we go. Furnace. In the corner. And let's cook the chicken. The cooking of the chicken. The feeding of me. Let's clear out some of this gravel here. I have no need for it in this place, and the flint could help me make arrows. I think I got some feathers. Yeah. Granted, I don't have a bow yet, but I will get one in time. We're in. I now have one, two, three, four, five, four gig files. Good god, this is going to be a really long video to render. You done? Yes, the chicken is cooked. So, let us partake of the meat. And sleep. And oh god, I hope I sleep through the night. I really hope I do. Yay! I lived through the night. I lived through the night. Okay guys, we survived our first night asleep. We did not get mauled in our sleep. Oh, this is the wrong direction, but I do want my wood back. So, let's head back out and finish our excavation. I don't hear any more bad guys, although I will take my sword with me just in case. Looks clear to me. Anything out here of use? I see a pig across the way. 
but I don't know if I want to go kill it quite yet. I really did pick a nice little uh, area to cover myself in. This will work out pretty nicely. Let's get some more stone. This way we can finish our wall and cobble. And this way I'll have some left over as well. The more cobble I have, the better, because then I can always create tons of cobble tools until I find some iron. And then obviously we'll have to upgrade because iron is much better, especially when it comes to sword. Iron pick is great and all, but the sword is really what uh, what I prefer to be iron. Anything out here? The trees are going to provide shade for whatever decides to jump out at me in the daylight, so I should probably be on a little bit of alert. kill some more chicken here. I don't... Ooh, hello. I wonder if that's where the zombie came from. It is entirely possible. Because I don't see any cave areas here. There's that cavern down there, but I don't see any, like, surface caves that the zombie could have come out of. So I don't believe that to be a problem. Oh, no, wait. What is this up here? Oh, that's where I was... That's where I was chopping away. Not to worry. Yes, not to worry. Okay. Well, let's get some more coal, and then I think we'll call it uh, call it an episode here. I got all the coal from that area over there, and I don't see any over here, so let's attempt to get up this uh, little hill here and get the coal from the top of that. Let's see, do I have much dirt? Only two pieces of dirt. So... Kind of build ourselves a way up. Seems like a good plan. Uh, let's go this way. And then I'll platform my way to the top here. Perfect. Oh god, not perfect. I just completely fouled that up, didn't I? Let's try this again. Alright, up and down. Alright. I say once we get a stockpile of coal, I'll be able to start mining right away and see if we can head straight down for some diamond. That would be nice. Because the sooner the better with that, eh? Alright, that's all for that pocket. And there's a little bit over here, I think. Yeah. Get all this out of here. No need to keep it in the mountain face. Upside down face? No. Just mountain face. For those wondering, I will be uh, doing King's Quest 2 to continue the King's Quest games. Uh, I'm not done with them. I just finished King's Quest 1 and haven't uh, started 2 yet. I need to do a little bit of a refresher course on King's Quest 2. It's been a long time since I played that. Like, I said it was a while since I played King's Quest 1. Well, it's been even any bit blah 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 blah. I cannot speak. It's been even longer since I've played King's Quest 1. Er, pfft. Gosh. Hi. Uh, this is my first Let's Play ever, and I have problems speaking in public. Or speaking to my computer screen, and obviously that's coming out in this episode. Alright, let's try this again. King's Quest 2 will happen. I mentioned that it's been a while since I've played King's Quest 1, but it's been even longer since I've played King's Quest 2. So, I do need to refresh myself with that game and play it a little bit on the side first. Part of the biggest problem with the King's Quest series, at least the early ones, well, no, I think even 5 and 6, I've got my monitor runs in 1080p and, uh, you know, million, billion colors or whatever the standard color depth is, 32-bit, and 
King's Quest runs in 640 by 480 and 256 colors, and you have to turn your Windows uh, theme off to classic. Otherwise, it does really screwy things with the graphics on screen. The colors will show up fine in the video, but for some reason they don't render right on my screen, and it just looks horrendous. And it's a huge, huge, huge pet peeve of mine when I'm playing a game and the colors just go out of whack on me. It just drives me nuts. So, in order to play King's Quest, it requires a lot of messing with my graphics and resetting... Is that too high? Yeah. One, two. Yep. Resetting of my... That's not where I wanted that. That's where I wanted that. Resetting of my color scheme and just all sorts of this other stuff, so it takes a little more effort to record. Which, I'm not saying it to complain about it necessarily, I'm just letting you guys know why. that's why it might take a bit for me to start up King's Quest 2. Uh, King's Quest 1 was difficult enough for me to get to play on this computer, and King's Quest 2 actually is still using the old graphic style of the King's Quest. Oh no! <sighs> old graphic style of the King's Quest series. Uh, I mentioned in my KQ1 video that the version I played was actually a remake in 1990 of the game, not the original 1984 version. As such, King's Quest 2 never got a remake. Hello, phone. Sorry guys, forgot to mute that. King's Quest 2 and 3, I think, even, never got a remake. So they're still in the old, like, pre-1990 era of graphic style. And it really shows, like, it shows a lot. Not not to say at all the game's not good. They're, 2 and 3 are both very good games. Uh, I love them a lot. Just almost as much as King's Quest 1, but it does not hold the uh, sentimental value of being the first game I ever played on PC. But 2 and 3 uh, are very old school style graphics where we could at least see, like, curves like the curvature of Sir Graham's face and that kind of thing in King's Quest 1, we're not going to see that in King's Quest 2. We're going to see jagged edges and uh, angles rather than actual circle-ish looking things. It doesn't bother me, but it'll just become very apparent that we're not looking at uh, <laughs> not looking at anything made within the last uh, decades. But I digress. The game is awesome, and I can't wait to get it done. Uh, I'm completely lost. How in the world did I get lost like that? I think I'm just going to cross here. I can't wait to get the series done, so I'm definitely going to be kickstarting it here pretty soon. Um, waiting on a. <sighs> waiting on a couple things to get Wind Waker back up again. Uh, I know this just turned into a little mini update, and that's fine. I'm waiting to get Wind Waker going again. I recently got a new capture card, and as such, it requires me to have a television hooked up because I can no longer play on directly on my computer monitor. So I'm in the market for a like 26-ish inch TV. Um, I'd like it to be 720p as long as I'm getting an LCD. I might as well get one that I'm gonna keep around for a while. I'm not looking for 1080 because, frankly, I just don't care, but 720p would be nice just because that's probably if I ever do any Xbox or uh, PS3 games, I will do them in 720, and the capture card I have is capable of capturing 1080i, I believe, but not 1080p. So, it's not imperative that my TV be 1080, since I won't be recording in 1080, I think it's getting dark. But, I would like 720. So I'm in the market for one of those, and until I find one that I like and purchase it, I don't think I'll be able to do a Wind Waker video. If I hook my Dazzle back up, I can, but I'm just really not happy with the quality from my Dazzle. Uh, it's not playing well with Windows 7, and I think that's translating to very, very bad quality videos. Uh, you guys tell me if I'm wrong. If you think my Wind Waker's videos look fine, I will just continue to do that, and uh, 
maybe change the rendering a, a bit and render them in a different way, but from what I'm seeing and from where I'm standing, I really don't like the way my Wind Waker videos are turning out. So as that basically led me to want to get a different capture card. Um, since that's all going on right now, Wind Waker is not going to go live again until I get a TV, which I'm just holding out to find the right model. Once I find it, I'll buy it, and then everything will be hunky-dory. But until then, if you guys if you guys like my Wind Waker uh, quality videos, like the quality of them is fine and it doesn't bother you, then uh, let me know in the comments, and I will pick back up and uh, continue recording them with my Dazzle and doing exactly what I have been doing. So, with all that said, um, oh, Plants vs. Zombies, uh, I haven't abandoned it, it's just a very casual game, and I haven't decided to play it in a while. Uh, I will be picking it back up as well, but uh, I'm not really in a rush to get it done, because it's a very, very long game. Uh, there's a lot of levels to it, and a lot of other stuff you can do with it, so it's still there. Uh, I haven't abandoned it, I still have my save file and all that stuff, so yeah. I think I'm going to let this go here. I've got some... Oh, crap. I forgot to actually get rid of the glass to cook the chicken. Well, I've got some chicken cooking here, so I'm going to let you guys see this episode. So I'll have to stop it here so I can render and upload it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll hopefully be able to keep this world around for a while, but I'm sure at one point I will die, and Hardcore Mode does delete the world once I die. So... We'll see how this goes. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.